Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on S3. And it's inspiration for you because it's a massive year for South African sports with the Olympics just a couple of months away. And this morning we get to chat with uh, Dodomzi Jonathan Ntutu, South Africa's fastest para-athlete from Guguletu to global podiums. His journey speaks of overcoming visual impairment and personal loss. With Paralympic medals under his belt, as you will see on this table, he shows that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Ndodomzi, aka Jonathan, it is so nice to have you, man. Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you very much for having me, sir. I, I love your story. You know, Google Letter itself actually means, you know, our, our pride. Yeah. And I feel like that's a lot of your journey is this being proud. But everybody who is proud, that means that you've come from some struggle with visual impairment as yeah. well. And I would like you to tell me about how does one rise to become a South African para-athlete, knowing what you had to face in the beginning to actually having the strength to say, I can do something with my life. Yeah. What did that take for you? For me, it was quite easy, the transition, because um, I was quite young when I transition from a mainstream school to a, um, yeah. a school with visual impairment uh, people. Yes. So for me, it was quite easy because everybody else around me was the same. Yeah. So when I um, found out that I'm actually visual impairment, I decided I want to play cricket. And oh. when, when I wanted to play cricket and I couldn't, I found myself not being able to see the ball. Yes. That quite broke me. Um, but I, at the same time, I found my new passion, which is... I had speed, so I used my speed and decided, listen here, yeah, I want to be the fastest Paralympic athlete in South Africa or even the world. You see, that's what I love, man. You, like, what I loved about that saying is that you said, listen here, yeah. you had to do positive self-talk. Yeah. And I think that's something that we often discredit. We, we need to talk to ourselves and say, you can do this. Yeah. You're capable. Yeah. And I think that's the power because that's what's going to bring you to these medals. So after telling, you, telling yourself that you can do this thing, what has been some of the highlights of your career thus far? I think for anybody who's followed your journey, we know about these medals. But from your side, what has been your greatest achievement? I know that I struggled a lot before. Um, when yeah. I, f I took uh, some years to before I got my first global medal. And all the years and when I came back with no medal and everybody else is so happy for their family and everybody else says, yes. wow, these athletes have done well. You feel like an outsider because you don't have a medal. And... When I've put myself out there and told myself, listen here, this has to stop. And Beijing, I thought I was close yeah. uh, because I came fourth. And that was still a heartbroken because nobody knew about what happens at fourth. And when I brought my first Paralympic gold, um, bronze medal home yeah. from London, that was the, the door was open because in 2011, I got disqualified. Um, in the 200 meters, yeah. where I just won gold. Oh, man. But then at the same time, on the same day, my son was born. Um, so that, for me, was a, wow. one of the greatest joys I had in my life. Oh, man. We have to do it for something and for someone. Yeah. And I know that you are doing it with so many individuals yeah. with visual impairment and other disabilities in South Africa who want to get to this level of getting a medal. Uh, let's talk about the mental strength that you needed to bring on. Uh, for anybody who's sitting thinking, I'm never going to get there. You know, Jonathan can get there. Maybe he had other opportunities, but I'm never going to get there. Can you talk me through the mental strength as to how you got out of what could be a slump, what could be I'm visually impaired, nothing's going to happen for me? Yeah, like I said, um, I struggled to get my first um, global medal. And each time I come home, people are happy for the athletes and yes. everyone else. Would... Me, I was sitting on the sideline not didn't get a medal yeah. and that could have taken me down in the slump where I yeah. probably would have stopped running and so on but I kept believing um, yeah. I've then learned how to start to I'm um, talking about um, the situation that I was going through yes and I spoke to psychologists they helped me and those psychologists were Mr. Yanni Bota because he's the one who's actually he was there for me for when I won my very first medal. Oh, and <laughs> the, rest, the rest is history after that because I'll continue to persevere and I will continue to do so. That is absolutely beautiful. And what I'm hearing from you, and I think this is what I take out of your story, is that you acknowledge that you had a situation. Yeah. But you said, I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to seek help. 
Yeah. And I think so many people need to hear that because mm -hmm. as an advocate for mental health, trust me, the power lies in that. That's mm -hmm. what gets you the medals is the ability to push through over here and allow your heart to guide you. And I can feel that's part of your story. Yeah. Just a quick one. What's the next big medal for you, jo Jonathan? My aspiration is to win gold this year. I've got a bronze medal. Yes. I've got a silver medal over there yeah. from the Paralympics. The gold medal is still short. And for me, I would like to make it special for myself um, yeah. because I've never had my children see me run in the global stage. And I definitely would like to, them to be a part of the journey and finish my story as a Paralympic athlete. And this year I would like to take them with me to Paris. Yes. Um, but the situation is that SASCOM doesn't cover that for families and whoever. So I need, I've I started a backup buddy account and uh, with the hopes that um, the public could help me get my kids there. And this year would really be a special year if they could be there when I stand on the, um, on the podium and sing the national anthem for South Africa. Well, you know what? The, we've heard you and the Backer Buddy account. Please go find Jonathan and Tutus Backer Buddy and let's get his family there because this man has sacrificed a lot to get all of these medals. And I think that if you're a corporate or somebody who has interest or somebody who can assist, I think it'll be great for you to back a buddy because he's our buddy and he's putting us on the map with regard to Paralympics. So let's help Jonathan and Tutu. Thank you so much for the chat today. I we are inspired, my friend. Thank I really you. appreciate it, sir. Please have me back soon. No problem. We got your back, of course. And with another medal, it is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And remember, that is a story of perseverance. Seek help if you need it. But more importantly, know that you can achieve anything.